Yo, I've got the perfect recipe for you. This is my take on Mongolian beef and noodles. To be honest, you could use whatever noodles you have on hand. I'm using chow mein for mine. Just be sure that you undercook them. To start, add a tablespoon of canola oil to a pan. Now over medium high heat, add in half a pound of thinly sliced beef. I'm using half a pound of chuck beef to be exact. Cook your beef to your liking. I'm doing about 30 to 40 seconds on each side. Now once you remove the beef, go ahead and toss in your sliced onion. Saute your onions for about three to four minutes in the rendered beef fat. You don't want to remove all of those drippings because there's so much flavor in there. Now toss in about two cups of broccoli and Napa cabbage. Pour in about a fourth cup of water. Saute your vegetables for about three minutes. Remember, there's a lot of flavor from the beef left at the bottom of the pan, so be sure to scrape the bottom as you're sauteing your vegetables. Add in at least one cup of uh, bean sprouts, saute for another one to two minutes, and then add your beef back into the pan. Keep sauteing and mixing everything together. Remember, your heat should still be on medium high. Now add in your undercooked or al dente noodles. Pour in about half a cup of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, this is optional, but I like to add in a third cup of lemon juice. Sprinkle in half a tablespoon of sugar. Drizzle in a little bit of sesame oil and mix. You want to keep mixing until literally everything is incorporated in that sauce. I'm telling you, if you're tired of the same old ramen that you're making at home, you could honestly do this and take it up a notch. Now, once the sauce has started to thicken and evaporate, you know you're in the clear and it's time to eat. I'm telling you, I do not let you guys down. Do not miss out on making this. You won't regret it.